guys, it is April, uh, May 1st, 2019, 1.14 p.m. Got about seven minutes here. I need to crank this out so I can get moving on. The next one, I'm going to go pick up. Um, I'll see you soon and stuff. They're supposed to email me yesterday. They never did, but I called them next day. This, this one was a lot of lettering, which took up most of the time. So it wasn't didn't take forever for me to draw it, um, which was good because I was really, really tired because my nap did not kick in last night. Because somebody was doing laundry all night. All night. All night long. Alright. Uh. So, laundry's just gonna kill me. I'm gonna move out just because it's a freaking laundry. Um. Donald Trump has told 10,000 lies. At this point, I think it's told like 10,150. Um. It came out on the 26th that he said 10,000. Since then, he, he's told almost 200 more. Um. So I included some of my favorite lies into this cartoon, and I can dig, dig it. Uh, it's really, really hard to choose which ones to put in, and you'll see one in the rough that I took out because I was running out of space, and I thought it was the least important one, and now I can't remember which one it is. And I'm hoping somebody doesn't come to my door in a minute because uh, they're going to go with me for the whole soup thing and uh, get me in the middle of the video. Uh, let's do some shout-outs real quick for the last one, which I know, again, I have not given you much time. I'm going to try to go to the one previously, too, because there were some comments. Arrow explains what Gamergate was for me, and that's cool. I'm going to read more into it. Uh, Arrow doesn't actually get married again. Good. Uh, uh, and then she talks about staying in D.C., and if my room's ready, they'll probably try to charge me. I should stay at Starbucks. Day. We'll see what happens. And Arrow agrees with me that uh, she had to rank the movies Captain Marvel would be in game every time. And then she drops a spoiler for Captain Marvel, which is wrong. You should not do that. You should not do that. But I've done the same thing with what you're talking about in there. Um, but none of my housemates have seen it, so I can't, I can't tell them that word. So, uh, everyone wants to know why the kid has five fingers, but don't have four. I'll just remind you, eyeballs. Well, you don't see their thumbs. They're behind the, the, the rest of the hand. That's, that's my explanation for that. Robert Cotino did not like this, the last cartoon that much, with the whole Nazi stomping. Not that he opposes me drawing Nazis, I don't think. He's, it was just meh to him. But he really, really loved one earlier in the week, so I'm going to let that slide this time. <laughs> and uh, on the last one previously with the what was that cartoon about? <laughs> da, 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 da. oh about the Nazis and Franklin Graham and everything um, Robert Cortino might be the first person who's noticed the, the word on the podium with, that said precedent not president I'm trying to treat it that out once my copy editor said hey you know do you did this you put precedent on the cardio <laughs> one of my copy editors they're actually cooler than that. they don't sound like that um, Robert Cortino also says he believes Graham does know the Bible and I say he does not know you know you're right I, I believe you are correct he does know the Bible I mean, he's read it more than I have but uh, he knows and purposely mis misrepresents Robert, Robert Cortino uh, explains this is called blasphemy of the Holy Spirit which the Catholic Church states is an unforgo unforgivable sin but then it's a good thing uh, Franklin Graham's not a Catholic right <laughs> <laughs> He, he would go to Catholic hell instead of uh, Methodist hell. I think it's Methodist. Mm, and then I think he'd just go back to everything else that everyone already said that I already did. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's it. We got it all. Guess it all, baby. What was your favorite Trump lie? Out of all of his lies, was it him lying about his um, uh, where his father was born and then repeating it again and again and again? Um... Was it um, windmill cancer? Was it raking forest in Finland? Was it about the many caravans? I like whenever he uh, complained that George Soros was funding the caravans, and a reporter asked him, "What do you? What evidence do you have of that?" And Trump was just like, "Well, I don't have any." <laughs> Who's to say it's not true? You know, I don't have any evidence. You know, monkeys are flying out of Trump's ass, but just because I don't have any evidence for who says it's not true. <laughs> I'm trying to remember some of the lies that I put in the cartoon now. I like that he puts fake Time Magazine covers of himself. It's, it's always the lies that are about nothing, the little tiny things, and then he just clings to them. He can't ever admit that he was wrong. Something. But uh, The Week had this article about six theories about why Trump lies so much, and it didn't 
mentioned my theory, which is he's a psychopath. He's psychotic. Um, for anyone to lie that much has got to be a psychopath. And that's what Trump is. Uh, and it's like he's a cult leader. He lies and lies. And the thing is, we need to stop trying to figure out why Trump lies. We need to figure out why people still follow him, why they still believe him. Because it just can't be because you like the economy. We had a great economy underneath Obama. Who, by the way, um, New York Times says lied 18 times during his two terms. Um, and it said that, and according to New York Times, that whenever something Obama or even George W. Bush would say, and it turned out not to be true, they would stop saying it. Not Donald Trump. He will keep repeating it. He doubles down. He triples down. He quadruple downs. Got like a minute left. That's good because I want this to be over. I got to move on. I'm trying to draw my cartoon early. I still have to build my clients today because I got to get out of here early. I messed up my Amtrak um, reservation, which makes reminds me of where I need to look at my hotel too because I am I suck. With making reservations. I've done this before. I've had to leave town to get on flights early because I messed up my reservations. I better check on my room. <laughs> I just remember that. Um, I put down the wrong date. Put down like today. And then, of course, I, I call Amtrak and I get the voice things where, where they recognize your voice. And it's like in that movie with Chuck and Larry, which really, really sucked. But Kevin James' name is Valentine. The voice recorder says Schmalentine. That's what I pretty much had to deal with today. Schmalentine. Couldn't recognize anything. All right. Um, before I talk to a human. Anyway, great, 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 great. Uh, leave a comment, and you'll get a shout out. Click the red button and subscribe, and maybe uh, yeah, you'll get another video later today, tomorrow morning.